Hi everybody and welcome to DIY Home and Garden. Today we're going to look at how to install a wall mounted hose reel. In particular, I am choosing to use one at my house by a product manufacturer called Giraffe Tools. I have done a lot of research on hose reels and those of you who follow me at DIYHomeGarden.blog have seen I've done a couple of roundup posts where I've researched various hose reels and I never quite popped on one because I wasn't confident in the quality and quite frankly if I'm going to drill holes into my house I want to know that I have something that's made to last. Like many homeowners we've had around our property numerous freestanding hose reels that tip over, they crack, they leak, you have to snatch on the hose to get it to pull out for you and you end up with it leaking because of snatching on it all the time. So we decided we wanted to invest in a wall mounted unit but we were waiting for the right one. I was contacted last week by Giraffe Tools and asked if I would like to give their product a try and review it. So I did receive this unit from Giraffe Tools. However, my opinions and my views are my own and I'm giving honest feedback on both the piece of equipment that I received as well as a how-to guide on how to put it together and mount it at your house. First, I'm going to show you what it looked like after I removed all the packaging material. It was, first of all, extremely well packaged. And I had to go through several layers of foam to get to it to this point. And when I told them that I wanted to receive this, they told me it would be a three to seven day delivery. And it was three days that I received it. So their shipping department is on top of it. If you're in a hurry to receive one, that is a definite pro for you. And I'm going to show you, you can see right here, you have brass fittings. These are not cheap aluminum fittings or plastic. Sometimes the little part here is plastic and that's not good. They break and they leak and you have water all over the place and then you lose water pressure where you're working because it's shooting out the inside of the drum of your hose reel. The drum itself is stainless steel it's not aluminum either so this is very heavy duty it comes with a leader hose to attach to your hose and it accommodates 150 feet of 5 8 inch hose so if you have a larger yard like i have that is a big pro it gives you a lot of hose to do what you need to do and this is an industrial grade hose reel so I am confident after looking at it that this is going to do very well for me. So again, my pros were it's very well constructed and that they shipped it quickly and it they do include all the parts that you need for installation. You're going to need to provide a few tools. And I'm going to say that is a con that I had was the instruction manual, although it is clearly outlined it would be really helpful to have a list of the other things that you need during the installation process we did waste a little bit of time running back and forth for tools realizing we needed things that we didn't know we needed until we got to them step by step so that's the only con that i found of this after i received this yesterday and we put it together we put it to use and washed my husband's truck and it didn't leak or anything so it seems to be great. When we unreeled it, the hose literally just glides out real smoothly off of the drum and seems to retract very easily as well. Okay, first step. Let's look at this step by step. First step you do after you take it out of the box, there's a parts list on the instruction manual that comes with it. And you make sure that you have all your parts. And the first thing you're going to do is put the crank handle on and they provide an Allen wrench to help you with some of these steps. We found it was easier to just use a screwdriver. So that's the first thing you do. You assemble that part. 
And then it comes with a guiding track. So as you're reeling the hose in or out, this smoothly glides across there and it pushes the hose evenly side to side, distributing the weight of the hose. And that's why I believe it glides so smoothly when it comes out. So that's the second thing you're going to do. You use the Allen wrench or a screwdriver. You affix the guide system. And it does come with two self-tapping screws. And you want it to have a nice firm hold, but you don't want to over-tighten the screws either. And you can see the screws right there. And there's one over on the other side as well. Okay. The next thing you do is... You screw this leader hose securely into this brass fitting. And there is a rubber washer that should be inside there. So make sure ours was inside, but make sure during the shipping process it didn't shake loose and it's not in the box somewhere. If you don't do that washer, I imagine you might get some drips. And then you're going to pass your own hose, or as they call it, the long hose in the book, through that regulator that you attached a moment ago. And then there's a little steel band here that kind of holds it snugly in place so that it gets a nice start when you start the process of reeling it in. It's in the correct position and it's not going to move. It's going to be secured there for you. Next, you're going to mark your wall. And this requires a half inch masonry bit. We attached it to our pump house for our well. And the first time we did it, you can see we have a hole right here. That was a boo-boo. We used the wrong size bit. We were trying to guesstimate, I guess, because it was that was not in the book. And that ended up making a hole we didn't need. However, all we did to correct, that was our first attempt, was shift up and now the stainless steel covers the hole. So no harm, no foul. So you're going to make holes in the wall you're going to mark the position then you're going to make the holes with an electric drill and then you're going to start those pins in there and these are going to be self anchoring i guess is the correct term self anchoring pins so you're going to start them in there they're snug so they have to be coaxed through a little bit you're going to need a little bit of finesse so what we did was backed the nuts all the way back off to give it something that we could strike against other than just the pin itself we didn't want to break the pin we grabbed a scrap piece of wood and a hammer and finessed them through and that secures them and it will hold the weight of the drum when you attach it Next, you slide the drum. You can see there's little holes right there. You slide the drum assembly unit over those pins and into place. And then you take the nuts and you put them back on. And we used a three quarter inch deep well socket to do this part of it. If you have a wrench, that could also work, but you don't want to just hand tighten. You want to make sure that these are nice and snug without, again, without over tightening. And this has a position lock too for when you reel or unreel it to hold it into place. So that's what it looks like once it's mounted. And this is with our sprayer attached to it. So, like I said, there are some pros to this. It looks like it's going to serve us very, very well. It's very sturdy. It won't corrode anytime soon because of the really good construction being stainless steel and brass and that's the main thing I was looking for and was actually very difficult to find. I know they sell their products directly online at www.giraffetools.com and also they sell on amazon.com. So I would encourage you to check them out, read for yourself a little bit more and I would not hesitate to purchase this. I would say this will be worth every penny and I do have an ask for you. I'm going to ask if you could please hit the subscribe button on this channel. We have a lot more coming at you very soon. We're working on more video content for DIY, gardening, recipes, home improvement, and we're going to have that coming at you very soon.
And I do thank you so much for watching today. And as always, have a happy DIY day.